What's up everybody, Tendo here, and that there's Hannah Warrior Princess. And I want you to do something for me today. I want you to pay attention to today's thrift haul, and I want you to tell me at the end of this video if this is, in fact, our best thrift haul ever, because we're sitting here kind of feeling like it is. Stick around. Goodwill, let's go. First stop, since this Goodwill did open back up today, this is what I'm hoping for. Yellow tags are a dollar, so dollar Nerf gun. Look at this Duplo mat. It's also a dollar. Please be yellow, please be yellow. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Don't really want that one. Check out all this exercise equipment. Uh, this is one of those robo machines. I really like these. It's only 25 bucks. I might just have to buy that. Regardless of whether or not I'm going to keep it, I bet I could sell that for a few bucks. How about some aftermarket GameCube? Bummer. So because of a coupon, I got two Nerf guns and an exercise machine for 21 bucks. We're going to have a little bit more space in about a month than we currently do uh, for all of our nonsense. So worst case scenario, I've got my favorite exercise machine. I used to kill one of those back in high school and in college. Uh, and but we'll try to sell it. Maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't, but it's worth the risk for 21 bucks. I think it sells for seven or eight hundred dollars new, so probably throw it up on the offer up for I don't know a couple hundred bucks. Sweet, all right. We got to pull around back now to the back of the Goodwill. I'm gonna donate this big tool cart here and pick up my exercise machine. And do we collect exercise machines now? Only if you use them. <laughs> Don't make me use them. Uh, no, thank you. There we go. And that's how you pack a giant piece of exercise equipment. All right. Now we gotta go get some gasoline and make it to the Savers before the Savers opens up, which we've got just about enough time to do. Savers is opening at 11. It is 1028. Let's go. What do you call one of those rowboat machines? It's got a name, rower. It's got a weird, there's a weird name for it. All right, let's keep on going. Let's get to the savers and then we'll eat, I think. Normally we eat first and then thrift, but we're, we were pretty serious about getting to these first couple stops at open. So we'll get to the next one at open. We've got plenty of time to do so and then we'll eat something. And then I think we'll go to at least one more, but maybe two. So we have pulled up at the Savers and we're about 15 minutes early. And also we didn't think about it on the way over here, but there's a Goodwill right next door, right at the end of this shopping complex. So I guess we'll throw a bonus stop in here, but I'm very excited to see how things go in the Savers because as the Goodwills have been opening up around town here, uh, they've been, they haven't really been fully restocked when they open back up, but what is on the shelves has basically been marked down. So the questions are when we go in the savers, will a lot of stuff be marked down? Will they have restocked? I don't guess, I don't guess we'll know until we get in there, but I'm excited to find out. And then we'll go to Goodwill. I'm not really, I don't have any high hopes for that Goodwill, uh, but we gotta go because we're here, right? This is my ex. You stay on your ex. But we live in the same household. Okay, but I don't want you this close to me. And then she like told her that it would No. The flags are going up. Flag number two is going up. Excited. They're opening the doors. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I made a beeline to the video games. Don't have high hopes, but we're gonna look. Nice. Mm, 
kind of a bummer. Very nice. All right. Bunch of loose stuff. <laughs> All the loose stuff is six bucks. All right, that was just a cursory look at the video games. I'll look deeper in a second, but for now, there's a Hannah. Gotta check out the electronics before everyone else does. Ooh, look at all these bag toys. $3.99? No. Man, they have restocked a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Charmander. Five bucks? Nah. Oh. <laughs> all right, I will be buying this. That one's $2, this one's $3. Oh well, I'm buying both. I need them. Every single one of these loose discs is $5.99. And there's not really anything good in here, except for a demo disc. But I'm not gonna pay six bucks for that. The best part about savers being opened back up is that, uh, well, there's a Wii game I don't have. A bit early for that, ain't it? The good thing about Sabres being opened back up is that they do have magazines, unlike Goodwills. Uh, but there's no Game Informers. But there are a rather large number of Star Trek magazines. Upon closer inspection, not only am I dumb, there is a Game Informer that I don't have, but there's a PlayStation magazine and it's Grand Theft Auto one, so definitely getting those. Well, that was good for me, but I don't guess it was good for you. No? No, nothing. Well, I got Mario, and I bought two games. I just bought this game on DS, but I don't have it on Wii, so I think I'd rather play it on Wii, so that's cool. Cool. I love Line Rider games, and then this, I didn't even look to see if I had it or not, because I think it's like a $15 game or something, so if I do have it, we'll just, we'll put it on the eBay. Oops. Now there's a good one at store, so let's do that, and then I gotta eat something. All right, it's time for an Ikea bag. How dope is this like foot tall Mario? He's cute. He's like 20% derpy though. Yeah, <laughs> his mustache is like flipping. Come on Hannah, we're gonna be late for Goodwill. All right, so this Goodwill doesn't have anything. We knew that it wouldn't, but you do have to, you do have to look at this. Are you ready? I'm gonna move out of the way. But why? You know, I know some of you have heard us say from time to time how hot it is in Phoenix, and uh, it's getting pretty hot now, but this is just how hot it is. The drive through attendant at the Chick-fil-A that we're at has an air-conditioned booth that she sits in. That's so nice of them. They should totally <laughs> do that. Yeah, it's wild, man. It gets so hot here. Hello. For Dallas? Yes, ma'am. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Have a great day. You too. All right, you ready for some more Goodwill? Let's do it. This Goodwill is pretty close to our Goodwill bins, but we don't really come here a lot. I don't know why, because it's not a bad Goodwill, but we're going today. Last time we were at this Goodwill, I found a beautiful pair of Wrangler jeans, and I walked in and immediately found not one, not two, but three pairs of vintage jeans that I really like. This one's gonna be full price, so $5 isn't bad for those. They're not Rockies, which are my favorite pair of jeans, but they look really similar. Um, these I wouldn't normally pick up, but they kind of have this paper bag effect going on, which is very popular at the moment. And of course, vintage Levi's for a dollar. Definitely getting those. Look at me. What we got? What we got? We got Barbie. That's actually a dollar, so I'll buy that. This might be my new favorite Goodwill ever. This is the second time in a row I've found a very rare vintage pair of Wranglers that are colored. These are dead stock. Oh, there's two of them. Holy shit. Oh my God, I'm so excited. They're so pretty. Oh my God. They're like, I don't know if you can really tell on the camera, they're like teal, blue, green-ish. Oh my God, I'm so excited getting both of those. They're $7 a piece, I don't even care. Oh, that's the kind of find I want. That is it. Hannah's got jeans. I've got a stack of dollar video games hoping for some dollar Nerf guns. How much are you? 
Ooh, 750. It's not bad for that. I'll think about it. There we go. One dollar. We'll take. It's a good one too. Oh my god, I'm shook. There's a third pair. <laughs> what is happening? <gasps> They're different sizes too. This is my heaven. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna spend some money. Just take my money. Just take it. All right, there's not a lot in the bags of toys. There's a bag of Lego stuff down there. Uh, it doesn't have a tag on it. Somebody's torn into it. That's about all there's worth looking at. But I've got some Nerf guns and some video games, so let's go. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm going down the line. There's four more. There's three more. They're all $7 a piece. Oh my God, there's more. Here's another one. Oh my God, do I buy them all? How do I not? Oh my God, this is a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna spend a lot of money on the same pair of jeans. Oh my God. How is this still here? They all have the tags on them. They're all old as hell. How is this possible? This is, this is too much. I'm overloading. This is either about to be really good or really disappointing. 30 bucks. Hmm. 30 bucks is not terrible. Guess let's let's set it down and look at it. Well those are Wii U peripherals. Eight bucks, I'll buy that. And where's the Wii U? I need this. This is how I should keep my money. Because that's exactly what I would save up my money for. Just gonna check, see how much NES go for right now. About what I thought, a hundred bucks. Hmm, but how well are they selling? Cause I mean, $30 to make a hundred bucks, it's kind of at the low end of the ratio I like to keep. Let's see what one is sold for. Uh, one sold today, yesterday for a hundred bucks. I don't know, but I'm definitely buying these Wii U peripherals because can't get enough of them. I had to go get a cart because not only am I getting to where I can't carry it all, but Hannah over there, Hannah just struck gold too. So it looks like we're about to leave with a cart full. Let's go check on her. <laughs> well, get them in there. Wannabes, they're not good enough. Wow. Oh my god. Ow, my arm legitimately hurts. Is everything here? That's crazy. This is a dollar pair of vintage Levi's. This is a dollar pair of like cute little little vintage pants. And then one, two, a dollar pair of overalls. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pairs of these regulars. Hannah's over there having a meltdown about her jeans, and I just found Billy. Let's go. Shiny Billy, too. Hey, now you have one other than Green Ranger. <laughs> oh, look. A portal gun. It's nicer than one I already have. Let's get it. We're kind of scratching our heads because we just keep finding so much good stuff. We're about to spend a lot of money, but that money we spend is going to make us a lot. I just keep walking around the store and I just found this sitting here. Not a really great chance it works. I don't have a lot of luck with these, but I'm going to try for a dollar. Yellow sticker dollar. Let's go. It's really, it's, that's probably your second best find of the year behind that jacket. Sometimes I'd kill to know how this stuff gets here. You know, don't worry about putting these in bags. Just stack them up. We got a big bag in the car. So I'm going to the van to get old trusty Ikea bag because we got to have it because Hannah just bought 6,000 pairs of jeans and I only bought like three consoles. No big deal. The guy at the register was like, you have your own bag? I was like, yeah, man, I'm pro. I'm pro status. I've also got my own exercise machine because that's just who I am as a person. That's what's, that's what's in my van. Exercise machines and Ikea bags. I, I, I'm well aware we live a weird existence. Sometimes, sometimes I see myself outside of myself. I have this out of body experience where I'm like, you're weird, man. You're a weirdo. Look at this cart full. 
Hey. That's wild. Is that the most we ever spent at one Goodwill? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's gotta be. How much? Get that receipt out. Let's see that receipt. First of all, look how big that is. <laughs> it's a CVS. That's receipt. ridiculous. That's exactly what it is. So the total was 144.85, and we saved 83.49. How does that add up? I don't know. That's not 20%. It's not. No. It's way more than 20 percent well because we got a lot of dollar stuff too oh all the savings on the dollar stuff yeah whoa <laughs> killing it i'm already having a heart attack thinking about having to post all this just look at it there's an nes in there there's a wii there's a what else did i get a ps2 slim i guess it was a two ikea bag kind of day hannah keeps telling everybody we bought a rowboat <laughs> i guess we own a rowboat now now do you know what the worst part of getting home after a long day of thrifting is? We've got a lot of stuff to ship out. We're going to go ahead and get it done today. I don't know how many packages we got to ship, but it feels like a lot. So Hannah's in our clothes closet getting all of our stuff ready to ship. But look, look what I've spotted. Oh my God, there's not one. There's two. They're in here bugging you, aren't they? <laughs> they are. <laughs> you guys are in the way, you know that? Being bad. I like start digging in a hole to try to find something in one of the buckets down there, and then they go sit immediately on top of everything I'm digging out. Like, I'm not making space for you. You're bad. I'm digging for something. <laughs> You're bad. So I'm sitting here testing this PS2 Slim that we bought today, because luckily I have a few mm. of the power chargers laying around for it. I've been sitting here playing Red Faction, which I've never played before, and it's... uh pretty good game it starts off really cool but uh i'm you're loud i love this crt i i'm gonna do a little work today and more so over the next week getting one of each of my retro consoles and some of my newer consoles plugged up to the crt so i have a testing station here because i've not done a very good job as of yet in my collecting journey testing all these games but i'm gonna start doing that as well as uh, sometimes when I get doubles and want to list them, it's kind of a, it's kind of a crazy extra amount of work to do just to test a game or two to get a console out and plug it up. So hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have one of everything plugged up. That'd be pretty cool, won't it? Here's the NES, my $30 NES. We're going to go ahead and try it out. Hey, first fire up. Let's go. Now, you know, what sucks. It's always a hard decision. Uh, when I get a new one like this, this one is in much better shape than my NES. Look how dirty my NES is. It's pretty tempting to keep the nice new one, but to be honest with you, I play 99% of my NES on my Retron 5, so there's no real reason for me to, to keep this thing, to be honest. Let's uh, plug this up. I've got Black Manta in here. I've never actually played it. So let's give it a little go. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, I want to play Ninja. Hannah, Ninja. Ninja. Part one, New York City. I'm not reading nothing. Ninja Star. Hey, you kid. Hey, you kid. Hey. Ninji. How do I get down? Oh, okay. The man in red knows something. All right, I guess that's my ninja intuition. Ooh, I guess I shouldn't kill him. I grabbed him by the neck. Let's go. Loosen up, man. That guy looked like the devil. I guess he told me something, but I didn't take the time to read it. Ninja starred him. This game is great. Why have I not played this before? It's good old platforming right here. Ninja Star. He did. <laughs> if they're in red, you can grab them by the neck. Watch it. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. Exit. Does that mean I, I beat the first level? Oh, pay attention. I died. Well, that's right. That's cool. Well, that works. So now I've got a PlayStation 2 Slim to post and an NES to post. So it's a good day. All right. looks like today's going to be marked down as a win because this Wii that I bought today is also working and double whammy because the Wii will sell for a lot and so will this controller. So we did all right. Look at this Ninja Turtles game though. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Wii, baby. 
I bet it's a just fine game, but I don't care for the Wii controllers on these on platformers, really. I should probably go grab a Pro controller, but it's all right. We're just testing right now. All right, I don't know how to tell you this, but this is the Wii that we just bought today. This is actually one that a buddy of mine handed me the other day. And uh, check this out. Bonus! And you know what? I've got a box for this, so we're good. As long as this disc works, we're extra good. So today's a good day. You know, it's always a good day when you find an extra copy of Wii Sports just laying around. What? Oh, I didn't even... I might have to keep this Wii. Look at all these games on here. So it has Super Mario World. Somebody hack this bad boy. There's no way this is just all on here. Mario Kart 7's on here. Look at all this. It's got... So Wii Resort's in there, the disc. Super Mario 64, Super Mario World from Super Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Kart... No, Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, Super Smash Bros, The Legend of Zelda, Zelda Majora's Mask, Kirby Superstar, F-Zero-X, Star Fox 64. All right, well, here's the thing. I have two black Wiis of my own that I actually keep. One up there in box and one that's just on my shelf. Uh, I think I'm going to have to keep this one just because all the good games on it. <laughs> that's wild. Let's make sure this Wii Resort that I just found works. Hannah, did you hear that? You Wii Resort? Wii Resort was in the Wii, and the Wii has like 10 awesome games already installed on it. All right, well, Wii Resort works, so Wii Resort's a bonus, and so is all the awesome games on this Wii. I feel better about all those extra games than I do anything else we got today. I'm serious, I have hoarder tendencies, because look, these are two black Wiis that I brought in the last couple days, and this is actually my one I keep on display. There's one more up there in that box, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell the one I've had on display and keep the one with all the extra games for myself because I want to play them. I want to play them all. You know, some days go better than others, and today's just one of those days that I guess everything's going to go all right for me because here's, here's what I just did. I thought, oh, I just found that copy of Wii Sports Resort. And here's my copy. It's complete. It's in box. It's all there. And I took it apart to find out how it all went in there, what all was in here, to see if I could kind of get away with selling like a half put together uh, big box copy of Wii Sports. I don't have the case that goes in here for the disc, but I've got the manual. So maybe, maybe I'll put this up and get a few more bucks than I would otherwise just selling the loose disc is what I was thinking. But when I opened this up, I found found two of these, two Wii battery covers. Let me tell you why that's great. It's because I have four. I have four whole Wiis that are ready to go out the door, except my current stockpile, which is now going to glow, of Wii remotes. None of them have backs. These are all from the Goodwill bins. I brought them all home that way. So I just got myself to where I can get two more Wiis out the door simply because I have battery backs. And I've kind of got a half box of we resort you guys remember when i found this the other day and i found it empty it's been a good couple days guys i'm happy this is my happy face all right guys we're back home and i don't know where to start with all of this to be completely honest with you i'm not even sure if this is all of it because <laughs> i've been working on all the stuff that we bought today and and i don't know i've been moving around a bunch and i got i think everything here on the table <sighs> and it's a lot it's, it's so much. It's a lot, a lot. We're going to start out talking about Hannah's pile of stuff here. Pick up that whole pile of green jeans and let's talk about that first because... It's very heavy. Your best find ever to date so far is a, is a denim jacket that we sold for a couple grand, right? Correct. That was our best find ever. Singular, singular, singular what would I say? Single item? I think that's yes. our best find. This isn't exactly a single item, but it... it it is like a single find. It feels a lot like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a single item multiple times. So. There you go. <laughs> However you want to look at it, this alone, I mean, we got some more good clothing here, but this is something that we cannot keep in stock. Anytime we find one of these colorful older pair of Wranglers or Levi's, they sell instantly, right? Yeah, pretty much. And for a lot of money because these are hard to find and these are just incredible because they're dead stock. They all have their tags on them. Like, uh, uh, tell me who, 
Who got a bunch of, who had a store in the 80s for Wrangler teal jeans and then didn't sell them and then just like last week decided to don donate them to Goodwill? The guy at, that was checking us out, he didn't feel very conversative, I guess, but I was like, dude, I've got, sometimes I just want to know how does this stuff, where did these come from? How does this stuff up, end up here? He's like, he goes, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously he, he didn't know specifically where they came from, but like. That's all. I, if I could have a superpower, did you ever play that kid? Did you yeah, ever play that game when you totally. were a kid? Yeah, me and my little brother, like, I always said, like, Magneto, or I tried to be clever. But, like, if I could have a superpower, I'd love to just touch the stuff from Thrift and know where it came from. Because where did these come from? <laughs> I, if I had a superpower, I would like to go back to the 80s and get the jeans. And bring them back here <laughs> and sell them? Yes. All right. Well, there's 10 pairs there, right? Yes, exactly 10 pairs. You gonna post them all at once or a few at a time? That's a great question. I we, always struggle with that. We don't know. Well, we're we're definitely gonna struggle with it now because we never brought ten pairs of the same thing home. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know. We don't know what we're gonna do with that. We'll have to update you on those maybe a few videos down the road because that's gonna that's gonna probably pay rent this month. Yeah. Talk about your other pile of stuff. So just, just real quick, go through them. Some simple stuff, honestly, that I got for a dollar. Oh, these are also a pair. They're not the same pair, but they are dead stuff. I didn't even see these yet. Yeah. Tags are still on them. This was in the same Goodwill. And I was like, well, if I'm getting all these, might as well get these too, because these are beautiful. They're yeah, like those... banana yellow. I like them. It's <laughs> wild. They almost look like canvas. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, pair of vintage Levi's, which I've actually had a little bit of trouble finding since things are open back up, and they were a dollar. So I was super happy about that. You've got a lot of, I see a lot of yellow tags here. Yeah. So these, these are all a dollar? These are a dollar. <laughs> I was killing it today. These are some 90s shorts. Lee, L-E-I, sells really well. Um, these are vintage Sears Roebuck um, overalls that I got for a dollar. These are really beautiful. They'll Next sell one. instantly, too. Yeah, we've sold these before. They're really stunning. These I don't typically pick up. They're an elastic waist pair of jeans, but they kind of have this like little paper bag thing going on on the top, which is more of a stylized choice these days. And they have these like little cuffs at the bottom. I don't know. I just wanted to try them. They were a dollar. Well, Let's we had it. we had an even better day than I thought we did because I didn't realize you got that much stuff for a dollar. Yeah. That's wild. All right. Well, I'm actually going to do something a little backwards and go through my video games first. Um, I basically grabbed anything I saw today that was a dollar and that wasn't trash. I might already have some of this. I might not. There's definitely a couple things in here. Like, I don't have this Line Rider game, which I'm excited about because I love these games. But Line Rider 2 for the Wii bought it last week for the DS. A copy of Star Wars Republic Commanders. I'm pretty sure I have this, so I'll probably be throwing that up on eBay tonight or tomorrow, as well as Battlefront. That'll probably go up on eBay. A dollar for a copy of Battlefront 2. What now? Riding Star, dollar. Uh, sea World Adventure Park, dollar. And a couple sports games, dollar. And then Black for a dollar. So that's pretty awesome. That's all the games I bought today. But that is not all the gaming stuff. We're gonna save the consoles for last. I bought a few Nerf guns today. I didn't put them all on the table because they're they're just still in the van. And you know what? I didn't realize this when I bought it, but the gun's actually broken. Hmm. That's fine because we resell this exact cartridge yeah. for like six bucks. That so. was worth a dollar alone. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. But I, didn't, I, I was a dummy. Didn't notice it in the store. Um, all right, I bought a couple more magazine sorters, and uh, I'll probably as soon as this video is over, or organize my magazines some more. Look at this dirt Mario. <laughs> So good. I want to keep them, but I'm probably going to sell them. Uh, that's too big to fit on my Mario shelf. So uh, This is pretty good. A set of Wii peripherals or just the Wii power cables. And this is good because I've not been able to find my Wii power block. We sold a bunch of regular Wii peripherals a while back. And I kind of feel like we might have accidentally sold off my Wii power block. So I'll be using that for my Wii U. And then two gaming magazines. One Game Informer. Very nice. And honestly, I don't know if I have this or not. I don't believe I do, but I'll find out once I get done with this. And then my new favorite copy of PlayStation Magazine, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. Portal Gun from Rick and Morty. Nice. Ooh, Very, it's got the little, little yeah, thingy at the top. It's got the thingy in the bulb. The one I have already didn't have that. Yeah. All right. Last thing I got was three consoles. Now. I didn't get quite as lucky as I did the other day. The other day I got three consoles for a dollar each and that was crazy. I did continue that luck a little bit today. This PlayStation 2 Slim was a buck. And I didn't get any cables with it, but I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to cables, so I had all the cables ready to go. 
So I've put it all together, and uh, this, I, whenever we're ready to sell things on eBay, I bag them up like this so Hannah can take them and take photos of them, and then we keep them in Ikea bags, and so everything in the Ikea bag sorted in large plastic bags. I actually usually use two gallon bags instead of these one gallon bags, see how that just barely fits. In a two gallon bag that you can get at the dollar store, they'll last forever, you can reuse them every time you sell a console, and they'll fit way more. I had at least suggest two gallon bags, but I was just, I'm out, we gotta go get more. So the Wii that we brought home today, it had not all of its cables, but most of them, but again, I think it did have a video cable in it, but I had extras, so that's ready to go. And uh, I'm very happy about that. And I'm even more happy because getting that made me actually go ahead and test some of my other Wii's. And as you saw, I found some Wii Sports Resort and some other stuff. And this is probably the thing I'm most excited about. Oh, I'm forgetting. Uh, I already put it away, actually. But that Wii came with... I don't know if you got a close look at it when we were in the thrift store. But that Wii came with the Mario... Uh, came with this guy right here. Which is probably the only reason you bought it, right? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, we, we paid $30 for the Wii and the Wii Remote. Uh, and we'll sell the Wii for, of course, you know, 70 80 bucks, And we'll sell the Wii Remote for 40 So 30 bucks is a little bit more than we wanted to invest in that. But those, being as that remote was in there, that really put us over the edge. Because we don't buy $30 Wiis. We just don't do that. Uh, but this NES... I didn't really want to take the chance on it because I don't, you know, we original uh, Nintendos don't really have the best track record. They usually come home not working, but this baby fired right up, played a couple different games on it. Uh, so we'll be putting this on our eBay as well. We've had way more luck lately selling consoles in person on OfferUp, so we're going to post it on both. We might sell it locally, it might sell on eBay, but uh, this is good. And I'll tell you uh, another thing that, that makes me happy about today's finds is I've been meaning to work on my CRT area and get consoles plugged up for a while now, both to test discs and both to be able to bring home consoles, sit down right in front of it, power them up, see if they work. Uh, because as of yet, you know, we've got 200 plus videos on our channel that are mostly thrifting and gaming related. And um, as of yet, I, we haven't really resold gaming stuff. We really haven't. The most I've ever done on the channel is go and trade a bunch of stuff in at the game store. That's really the closest we've come to uh, being gaming resellers. Now that was because while we started this channel and stuff, Hannah was yet to, to go full-time reselling. So now that both of our occupations are basically YouTubers and resellers, uh, it makes a little bit more sense for us to start paying a little bit more attention to uh, gaming stuff. And it's such a funny thing because if you go back a lot of videos, um, it's people, often discover our channel through some of our older videos so all the time i'll get notifications on my phone that somebody's commented on a video that's like two or three months old and they're like i can't believe you didn't buy that to resell it or why don't you buy that and resell it and for a long time i've given various different responses both in comments and over on our discord and it's like you know i i, I just wanted to collect games and though we do resell stuff i don't i don't want collecting games to be work so i kind of try to keep them separated uh, but we've loosened up a little bit. Now that we have a better infrastructure here at the house, we've got workshops and workspaces set up to process stuff and stuff like that. It is now a lot easier than it used to be to bring stuff like that home. So I say that to say we're going to start picking up stuff when it makes sense. Like that we made sense. This NES, it made sense. And um, dollar games that I can resell for a couple bucks in our toy booth. These are all ways that we're going to ease into reselling gaming. I'm not going to go hard on it. Um, yet i'll probably work my way up to doing it more and more but i say all that to say that you know bringing these consoles home is kind of the start of that for us we're gonna we're gonna give it all a try i mean i, I haven't really sold i can't think of any consoles we've sold on ebay have we we sold a wii u on ebay like a week ago that's true yeah yeah we sold a wii u that'd been the first one and uh i i looked at what wii's and this playstation 2 slim have sold for in the last couple days and it looks like we have a good chance. But to be honest with you, if I bring home 10 consoles this week and they all just take way too long to sell, I may not continue to try as hard. But uh, I, I, again, I say all this to say uh, I'm just trying to be open with you guys about our process because I know a lot of people get really curious about why we pass some things up and not others. And it's everything we're doing right now, to be completely honest, is just a giant experiment. We're trying to find where we want to live in the reselling world 
and uh, what we want to expand to and what we don't, what we want to stay away from, because we've found plenty of things we want to stay away from. There's plenty of types of clothes that well before we started this channel we brought home and everyone would tell us they're lucrative but they were just something, for whatever reason, we didn't want to mess with. And there's yeah. definitely gaming stuff like that. Consoles, consoles can be a headache because you can bring home lots of bad consoles and lose lots of money. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you watching know that. So. So we're going to try not to do that. We're going to try to stay in, in between a couple of lines and just sell stuff that we know is going to go. And right now, we stuff's going. Uh, I hope, I'm, I don't know though. We're going to see. I don't know how long I'm going to have to sit on this. It's another thing we might have to update get you guys on as things go. Uh, which I'm sure we will because we usually show you when we're packaging stuff up. Uh, so maybe you'll know how long we sit on this or don't. But at any rate, if it doesn't sell, I won't be mad also. Yeah. <laughs> because this is a lot nicer than my NES. Mm -hmm. The only NES I'd probably keep though right now is if I brought home a top loader. That's like grail level bucket list right there. I'd understand that until you told me how much they go for and then I'd be really upset. But then I would still understand. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> got to keep one top loader. Uh, but that's it guys. That's everything we got. I hope. I hope I don't go edit later and find something that we forgot. But that happens a lot because because our life is a mess. But what is your favorite thing that you got? Do I, do I need to ask? There are 10 things that are my favorite. It's just all of just them. Just all of them. All, all of those jeans, yeah. I, I, it's almost my favorite, those jeans. Uh, they're just, so cool. Just because I know I don't have to even think about rent for the rest of the month. I know, right? <laughs> like, I don't know if you can really tell in the store how they looked. They're just really cool. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's gonna do them justice. Are those acid wash? Is that what you I, call yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I would they're mark them They're a dark as. acid wash, though. Yes, they're definitely more... They're colored, but they're definitely denim -esque, Yeah, yeah. So. Well, my favorite, I think I'm gonna go with the NES. Uh, it just... I, I've i never brought home such a pristine NES, so I'm gonna go with that, I think. She's formidable. I'll yeah, call her Bertha. She's good. I, I mean, but, I don't know. Just I brought home three consoles today. What is life? <laughs> it's the sec second day this week I've brought home three consoles. So I'm going to go with NES. You guys comment below pretty please. What's your favorite thing we got today? Um, I'd really be really interested to see. Because I will say there's more and more people every day watching to see your clothes stuff. And, oh, that's uh, so cool. Yesterday's episode, I don't know if you've read the comments today, but yesterday's episode, Hannah did a little bit of sewing. It was real simple. You know, It's something we've been wanting to get into doing a little bit more of here and there. Because Hannah creates some pretty interesting stuff. She's not going to sew into any of these. These are going to sell the way they are. <laughs> But uh, she modifies a lot of things in really interesting ways. So uh, that's something we're going to do more of. So if you're watching and you, you like her a little bit, I like her okay. <laughs> if you like her okay, hit, hit that subscribe button. And then hit that notification bell so that, you know, whenever we post more videos in the future with a little extra Hannah, uh, maybe you'll get a notification when that video is posted. Also, before you go, guys, pretty please, pretty please. I, I've never begged anybody for anything in my life. But I will beg you until I die to hit that subscribe button because we are just about 100 subs away from 1900. And I'm telling you that journey from 1900 to 2000 is my favorite. It was just like when we were 900 on the way to 1000. I lived for that. I was like, here we go. We're almost there. So we're almost 2000. And if you could hit that subscribe button and help us get the rest of the way there, I would greatly appreciate it. And the last thing I can think of to ask you guys is to definitely go, well, I can think of two more things, I guess. Go join our Discord. There's a link for it below this video. Uh, and come over there and chat with us. It's just a place to come hang out digitally. Come be our friends. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> the last thing I can think of to ask you is to go check out our website, tendostrash.com. Go get you some merch. Uh, we have some pretty interesting merch in there. And we're, uh, we're adding stuff all the time. And there's some other stuff, gaming-related items you might like to go check out on our website, tendostrash.com. That's it, guys. Until tomorrow, we're going to be uh, organizing a lot of stuff. That's a lot of jeans to put away. So I'm just going to lay in bed with them and cuddle them. All right, well, you're a weirdo, but peace out, guys.